What's up guys, girls and others, uh, Little Big Robots back with another video this time. I'm looking at, as you can see from this, a steel bone. Um, Joy Toy is the company that makes these. That is steel bone, which is the, the name of the particular mech. Here's a little number here. You can track them that way. I, I wish more toys just, just, just did a, a basic numerical thing there. 125th scale. I was going to go for a 124th scale, and what's really funny is I went to Big Bad Toy Store and they have a lot of the 125s in stock and I thought I got a 124 scale. There are a few 124 scale um, joy toys in existence. There's not many. I think maybe 10 or 12. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. But um, I wanted 124 because 124 is the scale of um, Hexagear and of Armored Puppet. These still work with Armored Puppet and Hexagear. And so what I'm going to do is I'll grab... I'll grab one to compare, but here's the funny thing. Hold on here. There we go. I had to grab a couple um, people for comparison. So for some reason, there was like a burp or something in the system, and I got two delivered. Charged me twice, 90 bucks pop, sent me two. I emailed them. They're going to send me a replacement label. It was some kind of burping system, and I am as tempted as I am to open this just because it's sitting there, I'm going to mail it back. And get a different one because that makes more sense um, or refund it. Joy Toy is, is just a really fun company. These are expensive because they are, when I'm always talking about um, toys not having good paint jobs and stuff like that, Joy Toy does everything for you. So this this is the type of toy, if you wanted to customize more, I know people who do that. I've certainly thought about doing that myself. This is the only hard part. I can never get it quite open without tearing it. I hate this. Um, oh, that's not too bad, I hope. Um, if you want to customize them, you can, but they, uh, 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 son of a bee, whatever. Um, if not, you can just enjoy them. So the job here, your job as a toy collector here is to open these up and have a good time. This is what I love so much about these joy toys. I like stuff that I assemble though, too. Um, like models, if you follow me, I do a lot of model kits and stuff like that. And this tends to have a little bit of that going for it. So you can have some light assembly, not a ton. Um, a lot of times it'll come, it'll show you to put how to put the armor together and stuff. Maybe in China where they're from, you know, you have to assemble them more. But a lot of times they're just, they're already assembled with all the armor and stuff. But you can strip them down to the basic naked, uh, naked bot underneath. And it's a really cool looking bot. Usually the... The joints are nice and strong. Everything's really, really uh, clickable and tight. There was just one recently that wasn't really tight. Um, that was one of the more recent. This is an older one, that, but one of the more recent ones I got. Um, you can find it in the Joy Toy playlist, which will be uh, at the end of this video or at the description. Open, open. Um, it was really loose. One of the arms was really loose, and that was just really shocking. You always get a figure. As you can see there, you get a cool figure. Uh, this is a dude. I've been getting a lot of uh, ladies lately. But I mean, this just gives you an example of how they paint it. They paint it's really, really nice looking. See, so the, you, you don't have to paint them if you don't want to. You know, it's not like a big deal or whatever. But, uh, and then you get some armor bits. So what I'll probably have to do, I'm thinking, is I'm gonna look at the bot for a little bit. And then I'm gonna, and then I'm, I'm going to pause and come back once I've assembled everything together so we can kind of take a bit ah, ah, take a nice look at it so you simply take it out it's not even really held in there with uh with uh zip ties and stuff which i i like i hate getting a toy and you have to spend 12 days cutting it out oh man they got tons of little parts and um, what's really cool because i have a lot of joy toys i'm um, a lot of the uh, oops, a lot of this this uh line 125th you can swap, you know, in parts and stuff like that a lot. This one I thought was cool because of this. I wanted one with a uh, canopy up top. I'm not sure why that would be. Typically when you take them out, they're a little bit smaller seeming than they are normally. Than they are once you kind of unfold them a bit. Um, let me get, I'm going to grab one here. See, so this is another normal 125th, but you can see how he's a bit... Kind of bulkier looking once it gets spread out stuff like that now the new some of the new uh joy toys are kind of s not scale -less, but s scale agnostic in a way um there's a video i'll link at the end of this uh, at the end of this video that will show one that you can actually take this 118 scale figure and put it inside 
So they're making it to where, um, you know, you can pull the seat out and it has room to at least fit a uh, 118 in there. So when you first get these guys, what you really want to do is take your time. Make sure you're not just starting to snap everything off because you will easily, not easily, but you can break apart. They're, it's, a, it's pretty tough plastic, but these, these joints can be so stiff. Always support it on both sides whenever you do something. See, that's not too bad. Uh, the hands can sometimes be a little bit loose, this ball joint, but I, f I kind of find that I prefer that because it's just easier to get into position. Uh, the fingers, as you can see, individually move, um, the thumb. So this is great. They don't always hold everything great, but once you get in position, they do. And a lot of times they'll actually have in the hand, uh, ooh, nice clicky. They'll have a, uh, uh, so sometimes, some weapons, they'll have a... Uh, Sorry, I had to pause there because my stupid lady in the box was going off. Ooh, that came out. So that's good. Um, so they'll, they'll have, someone will have little actual grips built into the hand to hold weapons better. Usually the legs are going to be kind of squished down a bit. So you're going to want to take it, again, this is something you're going to want to kind of hold and do carefully. Do each joint at a time. Like, see, so you don't just go snap. Um, push this down just a bit. This should come, this should come down like this is what I'm trying to do. Uh, no, is that all the way? I thought it went down a little further. No, I guess not. So you're going to kind of pop the leg out a bit. Like that. I'm going to get a little bit more. So see, I'm kind of pulling the legs down. Um, put the arms, put these back down here. Like this. Oops. See how that's kind of loose? Sometimes that can be a problem. Um, I wish that wasn't the case um, for all of them because you, you are spending a lot on it. But it's also, you know, what is this arm just falling out for? I'm not putting it in there right. I mean, I know you can do that with other ones. Should be able to just pop it out pretty easy. See, so you can swap parts out in, in that way, but that one just seems a little loose. Um, as I said, you're always gonna have a lot of neat little gimmicks on here, little stuff that moves. You can pull armor off, you can swap with other kits or other, or other base uh, inner frames and stuff, but um, the, the, they usually have a pretty interesting way that the cockpit folds up. Oh, this is nice, oh, this is cool. Um, I like this way a lot because you can see how easily you can get them in there. I wish that the stuff inside here, see if I can get that. I wish that right there, even if they just give you a little sticker, um, but you could easily um, just put a sticker on there, you know, something like that because this folds down. There's not much in there. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but the newer ones seem to come with a little bit more interior detail. So the, the figure, once I put together and everything goes in here. So this one is not one, as you can see, that would work with a 118. Now I have this 118 with the big leg things on, so she doesn't even really sit correctly, so it's hard to say. But I do have a uh, 124 scale um, uh, governor from Hexagear. And so as you can see, these guys should go right in there and fit just fine. So if you want to do a, a you know, even though they're the, the different scales, you really end up getting a, a, a line that's pretty, they're so close, it's not really that bad but yeah the 118 guys are not going to fit in this older type they're just too big um they fit in the newer ones so that's a little disappointing um that they didn't kind of come up with that until later where's that where's that armor missing am i missing armor did the piece fall off so what i'm going to do i'm thinking is i'm going to put this all together put all its armaments and stuff make it look cool and come back and then we'll kind of review all the all the gimmicks and stuff like that Okay, so here I'm back the next day. I uh, was playing around with this, um, trying to figure out the best kind of arrangement of guns and stuff. As you can see, as you mess with it, um, it just looks better and better and better. I couldn't quite figure out what I wanted to do with everything, um, so I'm still kind of working with it. And I went over there and I assembled all little parts, but I, I grabbed my extra my extra parts box for Joy Toy. Now in this box, you can see I have a lot of similar weapons, but I've got so many cool expandable parts and things um, that I thought, well, I'm, I should just use some of these and just make the ultimate looking kind of, you know, ultimate one. But then I thought, oh, I don't know. I'm gonna, I need to try to recreate what it's trying to sell you. So of course I made the hammer. The hammer was the reason I got this guy. You usually, sh you usually shouldn't shouldn't buy something because of just of its weapon, you know, because you can get a weapon anywhere. But this one I also really like the cockpit and kind of the low slung look of it. 
Um, so, but the hammer is cool, but it's a little bit loose um, because of the way you assemble it here. It's not really a big deal, but you're basically sliding these parts together like that. That's how you assemble longer and larger guns. They have all these little cool little interlocking parts. Let's see if I can do that without staring at it. I'm trying to, oh, maybe it goes this way. Uh, met, oh, there it goes. Anyway, so you get all these cool little interlocking parts, but when you put them together, they're a bit loose. Um, so that could probably be, you could probably tighten it up. Just, you, you could glue it. I probably wouldn't do that. I'd probably tighten up a little rubber cement or something. And then you're using these little, these little pegs here, but the problem is the pegs go in, they get pushed in kind of deep really easily. So that could probably be fixed with another part as well. I even thought of taking one apart, one of the parts like this or doing something and, you know, seeing what I could do to get that. But it's just a little bit loose, but other than that, it looks really cool. Here's a typical stock, <coughs> excuse me stock they use on uh, guns and stuff really really cool part of the weapon so I really want to emphasize on this one using the hammer so I'm going to use that and then I added the guns but honestly the way they had the guns mounted there was real I, I like elegant solutions this was not a very elegant solution I thought that it was going to go on these long arms which they actually mentioned you could do see that really long arm um, if I can see the cover here it is but if you put them on, if you put them on the cover, they look pretty ridiculous, I think. They look so spindly. They're, this is supposed to be nice. It has a weight to it. And then you've got this. So these just seem like they threw them on there, honestly. Um, how I like stuff is to leave it really, really basic. So what I wanted to do is probably take these off. Although you can see it looks cool, but it does make it weigh really back heavy. And if you take these off, what's cool about these guys oops, is... They have this handle here, so I can take this part off here. And they have this folding handle that you can actually fold up and it could hold it in its hand like that. So I might rig that up. Now these hands are notoriously kind of loose. My last ones have been kind of loose, so I'm going to probably use a little rubber cement, some way to tighten those up a bit. And then I'm going to put that in there. And then I might even use a one of these connectors here to create kind of an arm to kind of to kind of hold it in there tighter, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna mess with that, but other than that, I was really thinking of just taking the weapons off, leaving this really nice little detailed rail gun looking thing. Isn't that cool? Do these fold up or something? No. Isn't that cool looking? No, it's just a little shoulder mounted thing. And then, um, and just leaving them like that, carrying mostly the hammer and using mostly the hammer. He can hold it in one hand. It doesn't grip it really well. You can hold it like this, which helps with the weight a bit so it doesn't come out as easy. Um, I had it held hold over like that. That's really cool. So I'll mess with it, some of that positioning. And you'll probably see in the thumbnail how I finally get it situated. But it's just, these are such a, um, I can see why people go crazy collecting these. Because they look so good. Um, but what I've realized, and this is going to sound really silly, but I'm a toy collector. And so, of course, I don't play with toys like when I was a kid. You know, I don't, I don't have play war and throw them around, stuff like that. You know, but you quote unquote play with them by, by manipulating them and turning them around and stuff. And what I'm liking about all these different ones, I get ones that look s somewhat similar because I, I feel like they should be on the shelf looking similar other than the color. If you look slightly at the designs, they just look, there is a unique aspect to each one of them. But what I'm also finding is, like I was saying, without playing it with them, you really, these things you need to play with. Like, I like how easily the arms can come off because you could swap arms. But also you get to get in there and really look at all the details and how they've got it. I mean, it's not really a fancy design as far as we've seen these kind of ball and socket joints before and stuff like that. But you get these really cool pieces of armor that when you take them off, you can see the cool undercarriage and all that stuff. These parts will move, you know. And so you could, if you wanted to, you could even paint these more. But they're usually, they usually have such a nice paint job on them, including that kind of stuff. And the weathering's it's so nice. I wouldn't mess with it. Um, so... You, but in other words, what I'm saying is you really should spend some time with these things, even though they're about 80 bucks, anywhere from 75 to $100 for the larger scale 118s, they go up to like 150 closer to 200 So that's why I like this scale. It's about perfect for my pocketbook um, and how much I allow myself to spend each month. Um, but you really need to go in here and just start messing with stuff and you just find all these neat little moving parts like you, the guy could grab on there to get up, this part here, the knee armor actually kind of flexes uh, I swapped out this piece of armor for this one this is a leg armor here that goes on where did the other one go here it is so you can swap that out for both sides I swapped it out on that one just to see the difference 
Um, you have a different front option here too, which I really like this other front option. Let me show you by pulling this off. You pull this, uh, uh, uh. you gotta be a little careful though, and you can replace it with this one. And I actually like this one more because it looked like a, the chest of like a, you know, somebody in body armor it looked almost more humanoid. Uh, or smoother I should say. The problem I have is once you put it on, it's a little bit difficult to get on. Once you have it on even, it can be hard to kind of open everything and that thing will fall off pretty easy. So what I found is that you have to kind of tilt him back more as far, you know, farther than you um, normally probably would tilt it. Pop that first and this should stay on there, but it's sometimes if you don't really get it on there, it doesn't, doesn't stay real well. It might just be that because it's also new and everything's really nice and tight. Once you get it going and it's a little looser, it'll work. So let's put the pilot in there. I uh, had another pilot put his helmet on. You can, his head might come off, just FYI. Let's see, because I already put his helmet on. There you go. Put the helmet right on. It fits really nice and tight. Um, again, this compared to 118, you can fit so much more on a shelf in 125 compared to 118. That's why I use these, that's why I like this 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 uh, scale. I was gonna try to do the one one uh, twenty four scale to match uh, my other lines, my two other lines, but this it, they work well with this one as well. Is he gonna go in there? I need to take off his backpack, maybe. Take that off, let's see. Can you take it off? This is, this is what worries me, I don't wanna break anything. It's not real fragile plastic, it's just a bit brittle, so if you were to snap it, it wouldn't be real. You could probably go, glue it back together, but there we go, let's get him in there like that. Push it up there. See if we can close this now. We gotta get that further back. Oops. Open and stuff. Close that. Close that. And there he is in there. So fits really well. Again, you see that one? You it's kind of hard to get in there. And I thought maybe it could go this way, but of course the the insignia there would show you otherwise. Oop. See, I keep I'm trying to push it while looking in the camera, so sometimes I get off balance there. But anyway, it's basically on there, and you can see the difference. I kind of prefer this one. It makes it look a bit more chubby. I don't know, it's just a slight difference. Um, but again, that's one of those things that they give you those extra parts to do, and you really, um, you can do whatever you want. You can swap out some of the arm bits here. You know, you can just, just really mess with it. What I really am eager to do is maybe start swapping arms and stuff amongst all these. I have two more on the shelf, and, but as you're looking at them, you're just like, man, that is... These, I, I really, like I didn't spend any time really manipulating this stuff on this old one. You really need to just sit down and spend some time just having a good time with these things. After all, you tend to get them and you spend a little money on them. And you go, oh, this is a statue, stick it on the shelf and don't touch it. But it's not. It's an actual toy. Would you want to give it to your 12-year-old uh, niece or nephew to play with? Probably not because you're going to be, uh, you're going to be, uh, you know, having a broken expensive toy soon. But, you know, um... I thought of giving him this gun. This gun is really, really, really cool. I'm not a gun guy. I don't use the guns often. Um, if you're into the guns, cool. But for me, I like the. I like more of the kind of um, how they look like. The these robots look like they could be used for like construction or something like you know realistic kind of thing. Not the guns kind of take away from that a bit to me. But it does look really cool. I just got on here earlier. Why is it not getting on there now? There we go. Uh -huh. Anyway, basically, yeah. it's hard to do when I'm looking in the camera, but the gun looks really, really cool. I wish that force wasn't on there. But even the guns, you can pull bits off and swap them and stuff. I have these great swords. Look at that. So I could, I might um, leave it like this, put a sword on there, and give them, the, give them a sword and a hammer. Might be really cool. Really oversized. I'm not a big oversized weapon guy, but imagine you're walking one of these. One of these guys comes up with a giant hammer or something and start smashing you. It's a fantastic looking uh, looking bot as usual with Joy Toys. Um, again, I don't, if you if a hundred bucks, eighty bucks, whatever is a lot for you, don't get yourself in trouble by trying to buy these. You know, do what I do because although I could buy a few a month or whatever, it it's not so fun. You're spending a bit where you're, you're kind of like ah, it's a bit too much. Buy one every couple months. You know, I've gotten five over what. A year maybe not even that but still it's you know I don't I don't buy as many of these things because you're kind of like I said you kind of get them put them on the shelf and you kind of don't touch them because they're a little pricier but they really need to be played with and messed with the next one I'm getting that's on pre-order is fantastic link it's all red has all these neat just amazing looking bits and bobbles on it stuff can't wait to get them and the new ones are just really really cool 
If you want to see all of my joy toys, I'll have a playlist at the end of this video, probably around here. Or in the description, I have all five now in there. I'm getting ready to have a sixth. Um, there's also some other really good channels on here. Maybe I'll try to link to some other channels who do um, tons every joy toy review. I don't get that many, so. But I think I, I really like this one. I like that it's a little more, it's kind of a compact one. Similar to the last one I reviewed before this one. The one that you can use with 118. Um, but I like this chubby kind of uh, armored, soft armored look rather than this more rigid look like that. And the big guns are cool, but they just don't really work with this one. This one. The hammer is going to stay. Can't wait to play with that. So not bad, huh? Keep an eye out for the rest. I'll be uh, getting a lot more of these in over the year, uh, by the end of the year. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm trying to get to around 4,000 by the end of the year. So have a good one, everybody.